Hola everyone! Today we're making pastel de nata, which is Portuguese custard tart. Now preheat the oven to 210. It's, it needs quite a high temperature for these custard tarts. So to the puff pastry, of course, we're just going to add some melted butter. We'll sprinkle that with cinnamon. We're going to double up the pastry so as that to create this illusion of layers. And then we will roll it up the short side in this instance. Okay, and cut that into six pieces. So let's go half and into thirds. Okay, so now we have six pieces. And all we're going to do is flatten those out into disc shapes and put those, make that into a nice little casing and pop that into a muffin tin. Push it in to make sure that the pastry comes out over the side. So we're just simply pushing that around to make that into a shell casing. Once you have all of those done, pop them into the oven at the 210 degrees for 10 minutes. We're, this is a two-step process. It's going to be a 10-minute uh, stint, then we're going to fill them, and then we're going to put them in for another 10 minutes. So let's start with the first round. So into the bowl, we're going to crack the egg. Usually cracking an egg on a flat surface means that you won't get any shell landing in um, your cooking. We are going to put one tablespoon of sugar. One teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. Measure that out. 120 mils of creme fraiche. As you can see, that consistency is quite thick. I think it's about 35% fat or something along those lines. Okay, and then we're just gonna stir it through. To that, we'll simply add the zest of half an orange. Simply mix that all through and just put it aside. While that's baking, we are actually going to make a little drizzle caramel sauce for the top. And all we need for that is the juice of uh, half an orange and two tablespoons of sugar. So just simply pop it on the stove for two minutes on high heat. Keep an eye on it and stir it regularly. Okay, let's take the pastry out of the oven so that we can fill them with the custard. Okay, as you can see, they've puffed up and we need to flatten out the middles of them so as that we can fill them, well, two thirds fill actually. Uh, with the custard. So we've made them a little bit flatter so as that we can put in the custard. Okay, pop that back in the oven for another 10 minutes. Um, as we said, that's on a very high heat of about 210. Let's get them out of the oven now, they're ready. Golden puffed little custard tarts, pastel di natta. We're going to carefully remove those onto the cooling rack. We'll drizzle some of that nice orange caramel sauce on, a, on the pastry as well. Sprinkle with a little bit of cinnamon. Delicious golden pastel de nata. You'll be saying thank you, obrigado, for this shortcut recipe to delicious Portuguese custard tarts. Enjoy. 